They really are. I mean, but how do you reach into the fucking bag and come out with Hitler? I just don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> just how do you do that, man? You know what I mean? And you know what's really annoying about that? It's like, there's so much fucking mythology about World War II that needs to be debunked, but just people saying shit like that makes it impossible to make any fucking reasonable discussions about what Like, you mean like America winning the war? Yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 yeah, that. Yeah, but exactly. not that the Holocaust didn't happen. Absolutely not. Jesus. But that. Also, that, that the fucking people who, that, that the American sort of... Uh, oh, like they went in there because Pearl Harbor and they wanted to save everybody. They didn't give a shit about people who were dying in the fucking Holocaust. They honestly did not. And they fucking recycled most of the guys who were in charge of, oh, Operation of doing, doing that shit. You know what I mean? And, and they brought them, they put them back into fucking power. Yeah, but to this fucking idiot to say that it doesn't exist, it made me feel so No, it's big. fucking stupid, man. Yeah. And then that's what he said about, this is the weird thing about yeah, yeah. that's what he said about the George Floyd thing. He was like, no, it was fentanyl. Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah. uh, say whatever, but. Yeah, but it's people who deny the Holocaust and shit that make it impossible for you to say, okay, yeah, the Holocaust was really fucked up, but like, you know, what, what, what happened with the fucking Native Americans and, and, and sort of the, um, the, Afri the, the transatlantic slave trade is fucking equally and utterly more fucking re reprehensible yeah. and people lose the fucking head when you say that. People lose, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you, know? you never. Wow. You know, honestly, I that. always feel bad for Native Americans. They get fucking shoved into oh, this deep, dark, little tiny box, Jesus and nobody Christ, will. But, but nobody will talk about them. I was watching an interesting thing today. This guy, uh, um, God, I can't. I'm gonna lose his fucking name. Like, uh, oh, Wengro, mm -hmm. David Wengro, or something. I wasn't gonna talk about this, but it just happened I had to be to watching. Bring it up. I happened to be watching today, and it's about like this sort of dispelling the myths of that we have of uh, of the Native Americans being this just like completely primitive, savage bunch. No, but they had like fucking organized societies, and they yeah. were you know they had like you know it wasn't like they were just they were just I mean it was they like they weren't just kicking it. Yeah, but I mean this is what this is what we're sold this like because it's okay that we, we came in and we did what we did because they were just fucking savages. But on the needed, other hand, people. But yeah. on the other hand, people also like kind of like make it like they're these people who are living super peacefully that nobody ever bothered. They had that's wars between them. That's also yeah. not true. Yeah, I'm just they, like they're, they're regular people. That give them the fucking agency if they were a fucking society of yeah. people. You yeah. know what I mean? Who lived, you know, they had like, you know, they had like, like multi fucking generations. They had the same problems as everybody that, yeah, else. Exactly. Exactly. Well, maybe a little different, but you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, you know, like, yeah, I mean like that's. Just, uh, it's just stupid. Yeah, it is really, really stupid. And that's, that's something we've been told in this book. I'm going to get the book actually. I can't remember what it was called. I think it was like a, I don't know, just spelling the myth or some shit like that. But the guy, I saw the guy being interviewed and he was like really, it was really interesting. Listen to him. He was a bit boring. But yeah, you know. I've seen stupid things about like, have you seen those people? They go like full circle and they're like hardcore libertarians. Libertarian, what a fucking, libertarians, Yeah. right? And they go around and they're like, well, we could be like Native Americans because they were like peaceful and everything was figured out. And I'm like, that's yeah, also that's not... Sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they, it was like in this, I remember the one, of the, idiots. I remember one of the first things I remember getting dispelled when I was a kid was, was that the Indians were like, they only hunted what they needed and they never took it's any more. Than it's just totally not true. They used to like run herds of buffalo off the fucking cliffs. So they could just, you know, because it was easier to fucking kill them that way. Their legs are broken. But, yeah, but they're people. You know what I mean? They're humans. They're, yeah. they're just like the rest of us. They're going to look for the easiest fucking way to do that. And they've got all the fucking problems of avarice and greed and, and, and all that shit that we have. They also had wars amongst each other. Absolutely. And slaughtered each other needlessly. Absolutely. Too. And they also had like very, very organized societies and like, you know, structures and shit. There's a place in Mississippi, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like this big fucking mound now, but it used to be like a, a fucking city of like 50,000 people. And we have this notion that, that, that they were, that they were like totally nomadic yeah. and they just like wandered around with their fucking teepees and shit and, and that was it. But no, they, they were There's like incredibly well organized Massive civilizations yeah. and massive cities all up and down North America and South America Absolutely. through to Central America. I mean, they were talking about there was one place near Machu Picchu that was one of the biggest cities in the world at one point. At one point, yeah, 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 yeah. And same thing with Mexico, like the, yeah. like the cities in Mexico were, I mean, like, like cities, like civilizations rose and fell yeah. like before like, like when they got to, when, when they got to, uh, when, when Cortez and all those fucking scumbags got to, um, who incidentally, it was like a, just a fucking scumbag from fucking, uh, uh, like Asturias, man. Uh, like he was just like, a, like, no, not even, no, like Segovia, like, like in the South and they like, what the, no, this is so, this is so true, man. Like this is so stuff. true. This is so true. The conquistadors, right? Were like the guys who went over in the conquistadors, right? They were like the youngest sons, right? Or maybe the second or third youngest sons who weren't going to inherit anything. 
from oh, their families. Fair enough. Right? So like the youngest would they would they would fucking ship the youngest off to the priesthood. And then you had these middle kids who were just they had fucking nothing to do. So like Cortez, they just got on boats and they became the conquistadors. They're just fucking losers, man. And they, you know, they they turned out to be you know, they got fucking painted as fucking heroes by some. Uh, but yeah. Do you, do you know what the crazy thing is? If you if you look throughout, like if you look at any monsters, you can find some humanity in them. Yeah. And then and then it's funny that on the other side people can't. Like you know what I mean? Like if you look yeah, yeah, through, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. okay, they're just like the fucking this stupid is starting middle to sound like the fucking conversation uh, Kanye and no, Alex no, Jones no, were having. No, 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 no. That's where that started. Man. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I'm not saying started. there's good side, good people on both sides. No, I'm not saying that. No. But I mean, like you can just see that like it's the system that fucks people up. Yeah. Because they true. probably had an inheritance law. That the, the firstborn had to yeah, inherit everything. Absolutely. So if you were the yeah. second or third son, you were nothing. You were nothing. And yeah. th these were the guys who went off to fucking, they, these were the guys like Hernan Cortez that yeah. went off to, uh, to the new world to, you know, rape and plunder. There you go. Um, so like there is some humanity in that. You're like, yeah. well, not yeah. in the way. You, I mean, you could have painted yeah, yeah, it or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You didn't have to enslave a whole group of people, but I mean, like, think about it. I, I wish I I, I I should have I should I'm having to go with the Spanish here, but I should have to go with the Catalans as well. No, I no, can't, no, no, no. I can't remember the guy's <laughs> name. The one that the one that went to the fucking Caribbean, Caribbean, and he was an absolute fucking scumbag we get, as well. We, one time we have somebody lovely enough to operate for us. Happens to be Catalan, <laughs> and you go at him. No, I'm just trying to be equal. <laughs> talk about uh we're gonna start with uh sam bankman freed and the ftx thing and what's gonna happen with that nothing like, nothing good yeah but i mean are they gonna rename the fucking ftx arena with a miami heat play that's what i was you remember we were just talking about this fucking bullshit yeah where there was crypto arena in la and this yeah. and i'm like what's gonna happen i don't know that's really stupid I mean, before it took years to fucking get your name. Like, like before it took years of you fucking murdering and killing and polluting or, you know. I know, plotting. yeah. Sorry. I know. Now it's, like, it's just, now it's like this kid came from nowhere and, you know. Well, not nowhere. I mean, his parents were. Stanford. Yes, yeah, Stanford, you know, like in the elite well and shit. Yeah, yeah. Obvi obviously. But um, apparently his parents <clears throat> were living in a $16 mansion in the Bahamas. That was not for them. Oh really? Yeah, there was it was bought for the employees of FTX, and they just oh, happened to live course. there. Then they said yeah. that they were just there. A couple, and then they said they've been trying to return it for the last year and a half. I mean, I did that once a few years ago, not in a mansion, but I bought a TV and I had a business. So I bought a TV oh, for the World Cup in two thousand two, and like when the World Cup was over, I kept the TV. You, you know what I mean? I, well, you're next. <laughs> Yeah, you're I the am, conquistador. I, am, I, I was the conquistador. A media yeah, market. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vinny the first, yeah. a media market. It was. It was Good my, job. It was my fucking pillage uh, that, that I did. Um, so but, I was reading, you said, so what was his net worth? Was it $8 billion or something? It was, his net worth was like, like the fucking company was valued at like 32 fucking billion or some shit like that. But his net worth was something like, yeah, something in and around eight. Yeah. And now... Like I just read this, was reading this one article where he says he's only got one credit card left and it's already got a hundred thousand in debt on it. And I'm like, well, poor baby. Uh, I thought he said he was down to his last hundred thousand. No, no, I no. Care, God, no. I mean, he's fucking owns all those fucking properties and stuff, man. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They fought, they, they, that between that and that Alameda research thing, they, they funneled so much money uh, off that. Like they were taking people's money that well, like people were investing in, in, in crypto. Crypto. And funny that he turned it into real estate. And he turned it into real estate and real money. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is just goes to show you, Ooh. crypto is a fucking scam. I'm sorry, it's a fucking Ponzi scheme. Look at this guy. This guy was like a hero. Like a year ago, he was being interviewed on fucking Forbes. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you know what I love? There's going to be a mashup. Somebody will do it. Like, I, I've seen two already, but somebody should do a big mashup of Jim Cramer. You know, the guy from I MB fucking hate him. He's the one who does a ding, 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 yeah, ding, yeah, ding, yeah, ding, yeah. ding. Huh. They they have all these amazing interviews of him, like interviewing people, talking to like, and it's like uh, Elizabeth Holmes, fucking uh, um, uh, oh, this the, guy. Oh, Elizabeth Holmes, the one with the blood scandal, eleven years. And, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and like, there's a, he's on a boat interviewing her. He's like, he's like, how did you start this amazing company? And just like, and you're like, oh my god. But dude. he's gotten every single thing wrong. Everything wrong. Has he not got? Did he get wrong. the um, the financial? Bear crisis? Stearns, man. Bear Stones. I put it up on a video. I, I, you didn't see it, but I put it up as a, 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 um, when we were talking about this once before. Yeah. I put it up as a little trailer, as a little uh, video in, in one of the videos that we put up, yeah. where it was him talking about how you'd be crazy to to sell your Bear Stearns stock, and yeah. like three days later, Bear Stearns collapsed and destroyed the fucking financial market. I mean, he he just got the midterm elections wrong too. He's an idiot, man. He's absolutely. I don't. How long has he been on there? Thirty years. Like a hundred years, man. Since the invention of TV, that guy's been there. Fucking I bet you he's actually screaming. dead. To be honest, 
he could be. Yeah, he could be like a like a like it's like a deep fake. A fucking deep fake. Why would they bother deep fake? I don't that guy? know. I don't Honestly. know. <laughs> they did it. There was a show I watched. It was like a George Clooney was in it. It was a movie I think where he played the guy, a guy like that, and it was like a the guy he played Jim Cramer basically, and he had like done a some. Anyway, he, some guy had lost all his money by listening to him on investments. Ah. And he came in and took over the fucking studio with like gunpoint and was like holding people hostage and shit. Oh, I like that. I never yeah, heard yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember what it's called. I wonder why it didn't do well. Uh, no, it didn't do very well at all. I wonder yeah, why. It was kind of like came and went. I can't remember why. I watched it. Somebody else was in it that I, I like because I wouldn't just watch it because George Clooney's in it. So here's funny. Here's the thing that's funny enough. Um, he was this big proponent of regulating crypto. Okay. A year ago, yeah. supposedly. Who, Sam bankman free? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, yeah. get into that. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, uh, he wasn't a big fan of... Re I mean, well, to say he was a big fan of regulating crypto, he was a big fan of being... Looking like he did. Of organizing the regulation of crypto. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's the, old, that's, the, that's the old Kennedy trick. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what he was trying to do. He was like... And he was putting money in, and he's even said it like... He said it like... He's contributed as much to Republicans as he has to Democrats. Yeah, but secretly. And secretly to Republicans because he didn't want anybody to know that he was like evil and shit. You know what I mean? Um, because, you know, if you contribute to Republicans, you're evil. So like he didn't want to be seen as doing that. And all this. All but this he also contributed to corporate Democrats. He didn't corporate Democrats and, and, and loads of media. He bought loads of media, which is why the media just fucking treated him like they've treated him with like kit gloves, man. I mean, normally they take guys like the, him and like they throw them to the wolves like that fucking Martin Shkreli and all those tech bros. They normally just throw those guys to the wolves. And this guy has just gotten such a pass. Like he's been gotten such fucking cotton wool treatment from shouldn't he be in jail absolutely right yeah absolutely right now no bail in jail well, yeah yeah, yeah. Ah, absolutely yeah, no bail oh you're running for something uh, you no know bail what? in jail <laughs> I love that. you know what man he should be no but yeah shouldn't he actually just really be in jail? absolutely i mean what it just goes to show like if you're gonna steal steal a lot because you won't get caught yeah that's so crazy it's kind of how it yeah. is yeah. That's I mean, what they say, you know, you murder one person, you murder, you murder a million, you're yeah, God. I mean, like yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, like, like Trump, another Trump is my, my daily Trumpism. Oh, here it goes. Uh, but Trump said, like, you know, if you owe the bank a million dollars, you're in big trouble. If you owe the bank $20 million, they're in big trouble. Yeah, that's true. And so it's like, you know, go big or go home. And He's that's like, what fucking Bankman Fried did. He is like an, um, he is the classic case of an idiot savant. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's so fucking dumb, but he's got it. I know, yeah. But he's got it. He's got it. And he's, he's got right. He's got the fucking one liners and shit, man. He's yeah. got it down, man. And you know, and he, and he knows how to fucking make fun of people and he knows how to fucking just tear people down. It's funny. You could be stupid, but timing is everything. And, and the show must yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. And he's and he's just like a the fucking biggest fucking Nancy boy queen as well, man. He just is. He's not a fucking like everybody. So you can't say that. I'm Nancy sorry. I didn't boy. mean it. I didn't mean it like I didn't mean it like well, you a, can, but you okay. shouldn't. I, okay, I shouldn't. Uh, but anyway, I mean that's a big thing, actually. If you if you take it, just leaves whatever the fuck. What's the name? Bankman Freed alone. If you yeah. leave him alone, that idea of like dark money. Yeah. Going into politics. I mean. Yeah, I mean. I mean, he's contributed like billions. Mil oh, billions. Oh, I don't know billions. Millions, millions anyway. For sure. Yeah. I mean, apparently he's probably like in the top ten contributors in America last year into politics. Yeah, and and yeah, yeah. contributed to both parties. So I mean, that was like a hedge your bets. You're gonna but get he's, it. But he's like he's put shitloads of money into places like the Intercept and stuff like that. He's put tons of money into them. He's invested in them. He's like oh, bankrolled so. stuff like that. So he totally gets it. You into you. you, yeah, you, you need, give both yeah. of them money plus the third estate, which is the media. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's so, insane. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and that's that's you should be going to jail for that. But I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know why he's not in jail. I mean, they're doing softball interviews with him on TV. That fucking... I watched the interview, the whole interview with Andrew Sorkin. And, and he just, you know, he asked him a couple of questions. Like, he asked him about the, the Ukraine thing. And he was able to, like, make that out, out to be, like, you know, just a big... I mean, which is just... It, it's more... You know, it's easy. That's an easy one. It's like that... It almost like that was thrown out there. Because the, the crazy, you know, Republican right-wing... Not cases will say that Ukraine money laundering for the Democratic Party. <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they, they're going to jump all over that, and that's what happened. You know what I mean? But, like, the fact of the matter is, he did fucking send a shitload of money to Ukraine. And for what? To help them with their weapons stuff. 
but like, why did they need it? They were getting fucking tons of money from the fucking U.S. government. Well, that wasn't going to get there, and they knew that. Well, I suppose you're right. Yeah, that wasn't, yeah. That, was, that wasn't leaving fucking There's two, there's two, you got you to gotta, you gotta go after a few different types of groups to get the real money to, to get the real, I yeah. suppose, yeah, I suppose. Because you know the government, that, right? half that shit's not coming to you. No, definitely not. No, 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 that's getting, everybody's getting their beak wet as that goes down the Then when you chain. do stuff with the businesses, you know that's going to come at a tax. Yep. They're not giving you anything for free. Nope. So. No, they're not. There you go. Anyway, yeah. He told you. That's the the crypto genius. Well, and but he really should be in jail. I, one hundred percent. But he won't be. Well, he should I be in prison. Apparently, I think we talked about this before. Martin Shkreli or whatever sent a message being like, "It's not that bad. Don't worry." Yeah, I like <laughs> if he goes to jail, it'll be fucking club fed. You know that place in fucking that place in uh, Arizona. That, no, it's in uh, I think it's in North Carolina where fucking. Uh, uh, better call Saul Goodman was going to go, but then he fucking confessed in the end. Oh, sorry. I meant a spoiler alert. Sorry. I don't know if you're watching. Uh, no, I haven't seen gotten that far yet. Don't okay. worry. Um, It'll be my Christmas watching. Yeah, anyway. So that's... Um, that's. So on the other hand, we should jump to this, that you saw that other thing in the news, that Alla, the woman from Alabama was 82. Yes. What did she not do? She went uh, to jail for She it. didn't pay $77 worth of a fucking trash bill to get her rubbish collected and the police went and fucking arrested and handcuffed her and brought her to the fucking jail. Crying. Crying. And Sam Bankman Freed is like stole fucking 32 fucking billion or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. And he's like lording it around and going on TV shows. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can. Yes, you can. And that was crazy to me because it was a tax bill from the city that she had to pay $77 for three months worth of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she, she hadn't. Crying, she hadn't. She hadn't paid a rubbish bill over the summer, and you know, I mean, I don't. I, I don't know what the. I, I mean, I, I don't know what the fucking logic was in going. In like even just from a fucking public relations point of view, to yeah. fucking for the magistrate to fucking issue a warrant to go and arrest an eighty-two-year-old woman. Yeah. I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. I mean, if I was the fucking magistrate, I would have just said, here, look, I'll pay the fucking thing. Here, I mean, $77. Get $77. the fuck out of here. So you, this, could, you could probably just take this, a trip yeah. over to the lady's house and with not the police. Yeah, yeah. And just Some say, hey, listen. Some other government official. Yeah, yeah. Like, listen, you got 77 bucks. For, and, and apparently, the services are so bad in her area that she didn't know what, if it was on or off. I, well, I mean, you're talking that about... That really didn't surprise you're, me. And you're talking about Alabama, which is one of the poorest states in the country. And, and one of the most racist, systemic... And, and systemically right. racist. And, 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 and the in, levels of inequality are just fucking, like, just ridiculous. Well, you had two police officers go and, t- and go pick and, up an and, old lady. And, and, yeah, yeah. T- sheriffs. Oh, my God. It's always the sheriffs. The sheriffs do shit. Like, that's what the sheriffs do. The sheriffs go and arrest 82-year-old women. You know, we had our other show where we talked about sheriffs, yeah, yeah, what yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, this yeah. is what they do. They yeah. serve warrants and they Could you imagine them. you're going after... An, yeah. You're putting yeah. handcuffs on her. Apparently she's crying. Yeah, I fucking don't blame her. <laughs> I would be crying. I tell you what, if it was my fucking grandma, I'd be fucking over there kicking the some shit fucking sheriff you. ass. That's what I'd be fucking <laughs> doing. Be man. Dead. Yeah, well, yeah, they'd shoot me, but they'd you know what I mean? You. Yeah. But I mean, and not to mention like, do you need to even, we didn't even say it, but she is black. Yeah, she is black, yeah, yeah. You didn't even say it. No, didn't need to. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just find that really, I was just thinking about it. I was just like, think about the waste of time for taxpayers. Yeah. Think about the waste of time and like yeah, and yeah. public like like this this publicly is so bad. But I mean if you think about how much they how much they pay the fucking those cops, right? Yeah. Just them going to the house and getting her and arresting her Just and bringing her to the fucking thing and filling out the paperwork cost more than seventy seven dollars. For sure. It's like what the fuck are you people doing? And, and then let's like let's expand that. Now it's like the media attention that they have to deal with. They must have got a publicist to have to deal with all this shit. Yeah, of course uh, they do. Yeah, they ha- they have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just, and the yeah, so the blowback from it is it's costing like fucking hundred fifty times what fucking thousands. It's, it's, yeah, now. it's going to cost like yeah. And yeah. then she's probably going to fucking sue them. Yep. Good, and I hope she fucking wins. Yeah, but then who pays for that? Yeah, well, I mean the county. Yeah, the yeah yeah. It's fuck it's, it's yeah. coming from the people still. Fuck them. Yeah 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 yeah. They should pay it. You know. That's taxpayer money for sure. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, my God. So uh, on another front in, in, in the U.S. and in the U.K. is the fucking Joe Biden has just done. Are we done with police stuff yet? Just I, 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 another one. Back? Yeah, we'll go back. Okay. But Joe Biden in America, who calls himself the most pro-union president in history. That's not true. Okay. Has now just made himself... Like on a fucking level of Ronald Reagan level union relations, because he's made the fucking train workers accept a fucking contract that they didn't want to accept, um, and 
like basically told them, fuck off, go back to work and shut the fuck up or you're fired, Mm -hmm. which is exactly what Reagan did to the air traffic controllers in 1981 that ended fucking, that was really the the, the, the real beginning of the end of the decline of the union I- in the United States of America, which is what was led to the fucking decline of the Democratic Party, which shifted the Democratic Party farther to the right. And yeah, yeah, so. And then comes in neoliberalism. Yeah, well, yeah, it comes in, yeah, come, yeah, that, that, I mean, this, that the whole idea of just like, un, you know, we shouldn't call it neoliberalism, we should call it what it is. It's just fucking laissez-faire capitalism. It's just like, whatever you want, it's just, it's 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 all about capital. It's all about do whatever you want, free market, whatever. Yeah, I mean, basically, these people weren't just trying to get some sick leave, right? I mean, they they wanted a pay raise as well. Yeah. But I mean, they, I mean, in the end of the day, they wanted fucking sick leave as well. They wanted to like, and, and if you read about like what the fucking unions have been doing to them, and like the unions have like, you know. Like, like the trains are owned by like three companies. All the trains in the United States of America are owned by three companies. And they transport shitloads of fucking uh, freight, right? They're not really talking about the passenger trains. I mean, there is, they are involved in it as well. But no, like they're it's, talking about supplies. It's really the freight train yeah, that yeah. they're talking about. And, um, you know, they, 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 like they have these fucking trains that are three miles long, right? And there's two guys working on the train when there used to be five. And even five, they said, is just fucking ridiculous. Because if something happens... Mm-hmm. More st- than one person. You have to stop the train and then, what, walk fucking oh, two miles wow. to find out what the fuck happened? Oh, wow. It's really, it's terrible. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrible. And this, this one guy was saying that, like, I was watching an interview with one guy and he was saying, look, they used to give us, they give us the same, they have the same meal allowance. Because these guys are away for, you know, obviously days at a time. Right. They have the same meal allowance that they had in 19 fucking 80, which is like $12. <laughs> So, like, what are you going to get in America for twelve dollars? Starbucks. I, one you, coffee. One coffee in Starbucks. One you know coffee. what I mean? Like, I'll you can't even go going. to. Fuck, I wouldn't get food. You can't even go to fucking McDonald's. You might as well just get crack. Yeah, and and apparently they changed the tax law so that they couldn't claim that. They, they couldn't claim, they, claim they their couldn't own claim any more. They couldn't. So if they if they if they went over their twelve allowance and they and they you know they're in a place where they had to spend their own money to uh, beyond their twelve dollar allowance. They couldn't claim it on their taxes at the end of the year. Meanwhile, like guys like fucking like Bankman Freed, they can claim the fucking the mansion that his parents live in as a fucking as accommodation for his fucking staff. It's it's insane. Like and I'm hoping that the actual that the rail strikers, that the railway strikers, they they just go on a wild t- wildcat strike. They should just strike anyways. I mean, that's what the air traffic controllers did. And Reagan just fucking fired them all. Yeah. And now I don't know if Joe Biden oh. can do that. I don't think so. I think they have to fucking call his bluff. I think they should. I don't think he can do that. I don't think he, I don't, I think they should. Yeah, I think they should. I think this is the time now. And I mean, with, 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 I mean, as much as it's not promoted in the media, that there is a big union push going on right now. There is, there there certainly is. is. And I think that there would be backup for them. It's crazy to think that, was it Bernie? And then I think my brother who were over the UK talking to like um, no, strikers yeah. over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was tra- it was a railway Absolutely, strikers yeah, yeah. as well, was, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. And like the Metro, I mean. Yeah, I mean, his brother's a, uh, an MP. Yeah. His brother lives in Britain. Yeah, isn't yeah. that fucking mental? Yeah, um, yeah. And, and then here, you have the person in your same party. Mm. Who has said well, basically, same party. I, I mean. Same party, my ass. Yeah, I mean. Uh, it, it was the the, the fucking the, uh, the deal they made them accept was like not anything near what they wanted and they, really they're looking for like seven sick days yeah. a year yeah and now they get they get zero yeah yeah and I and you I know? saw that they have to to plan and take vacation days to plan their sickness to the surgeries to, different to things doctors like. appointments and yeah. shit like that you know what I mean and, and you're talking about an older population and you're talking about like a really hard fucking job yeah you know lots of hours Lots of fucking physical uh, labor. And away from home for a long time. Away from home for long periods of time. You know, and, and, and they basically want to just turn them into just tools. That I, re- I read two stories. No, two stories, oh. and I think it was, no, it was not the New York Times. Um, I have to get that for you, but whatever. Okay. I guess so this is going to be stupid anecdotal. But like that some of them hadn't seen their families in like, really like in months. Yeah. yeah. Because like the way that their schedules worked out, and then another one yeah. that they, they had gotten sick. And they had really been punished for it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But if you watch the media, like I, I mean, 
I've watched a lot of media, both like US and UK media, because there's a rail strike in the UK yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and the, and the, the, the rail workers in the UK have just announced that they're going to do another strike. And, and, and the fucking media are like, how, don't you think it's it's unfair? Don't you realize people are going to be affected by this? Inconvenience yeah, is the word. Uh, yeah, uh, but, but like, you know, don't you care about people and all yeah. this fucking shit? It's like, well, no. why aren't you asking the same question to the, to the fucking corporation that owns the fucking railway? Why are you just asking the people who yeah. are on strike? I'm asking for sick leave. They're asking for more billions of dollars. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and the profits that they're making are fucking ridiculous. You know what I mean? And, and, and so One of the executives in one of the train companies was on MSNBC and he was saying, you just don't realize the things that we have to do. Well, no, it wasn't an executive. It was a publicist for one of them. He yeah, was saying, that you just don't realize the ends that we're trying to make and meet. And he was talking about petrol. He was talking about all this stuff. And I was like, but they, they let him off. But I mean, the thing is like, you know, that fucking That's industry, something. that industry is so fucking uh, like, you know, they're, they're just, they're just, they're, just they're on some slave shit. They're old yeah, school. Yeah. You time. know what I mean? Yeah. They're just stealing profit. Right. Yeah. Because they know, and, and they don't put any money back into, they've done all these fucking mad stock, stock buybacks and shit, you know, to, to, to pump up their, the share price of, you know, Warren Buffett you know, owns one of them. Oh. Own, owns, owns one of the railroads. Um, I think it's Union Pacific maybe is the one he owns. Okay. Um, there's like Union Pacific, CRX, and brr, I can't remember the but other one. There's, like, there's, there's three, it. maybe four. Uh, and, and, you know, and they have a complete monopoly and they, 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 they work together to set prices, which is illegal. Uh, they, you know, they work together to fuck their employees over, which is illegal. You know, they, and all the shit that they're doing and, and nobody seems to give a shit. And, and the unions, now they the, now the, the, now the Biden administration just stepped up and told them union to fuck off. Um, you know, but he can change shit with executive orders, right? He could do. Yeah, he could actually do an executive order that says you, something they're saying have, that Obama yeah, yeah. kind of kind of smacked him down the last time. Yeah, apparently Obama put a thing that that all federal employees had to have uh Sick, uh, days. sick days except for except for railway workers that's yeah, so yeah. personal and he could do it to railway workers as well and 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 you know and the thing about these guys is what i was going to say is like you know they're going to they're, they're sucking the profits out of it like just like draining it squeezing it like a fucking rag and um but if anything goes wrong they get a bailout and the government actually pays the fucking so it's like you know they, they've privatized the profit and socialized the fucking cost ah there you go so they, you know, well, that's how you run business in America. That is money. how you run business in America I mean, to make money. If you look at yeah. it, really, yeah, yeah, this, this is what they do. I mean, they don't, they don't like corporate um, communism or something. Yeah, it kind of is corporate, corporate communism. Corporate socialism. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It doesn't even matter anymore. Those anyway, terms don't matter anymore. No, they don't really. So yeah. Anyway, so that's um yeah the the. But you, but but yeah, you are right. I mean, the media isn't asking those questions. It's more, it, it, it seemed to be styled as this is a big inconvenience for a bunch of people who have been getting stuff. Because I think that they're reporting the last raise that they had as some kind of like I don't know. What it, it, was. it was fucking shit. I mean, any, anyway, like in comparison with fucking inflation, it's nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if they say that they got a fifteen percent raise five years ago, yeah, that sounds like a lot to a lot of people who don't care to investigate because you're worried about your own life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they've made a mistake fucking with the railway workers unions because they're they're a super sympathetic image wise yeah. you know it's like a old school like yeah. what they you work they're not starbucks fucking you know like you know the way you know the way yeah. ted, ted cruz called them fucking latte drinking or yeah. whatever yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. bong smoking baristas or something what are you going to say about them yeah but you can't say that about these guys these guys are fucking like these guys are like blue collar yeah. fucking joe lunchbox fucking well, working american guys what could you say about them yeah so, you know, hopefully they, they, they use that, 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 you know, that, that sort of image to, to push for, um, you know, more change. Because I think as the railway, as the railway union changes, so will the rest of the fucking country. I think they'll have to, you know, they can set, and they, they started the fucking labor movement in the U.S. Mm. I mean, they did back yeah. in the fucking 1890s, the Pullman strike and shit like that. Um, they were one of the first, the strongest and first labor unions in, in the U.S. And so, like, you know, maybe it's they're going to step up again and do it. I hope they do, because I just would I would calculate that Joe Biden cannot do what Ronald Reagan did to the air traffic controllers. Mm. Yeah, Ronald Reagan was hardcore, though. Yeah, he was fucking hardcore. He just fucking told them all, you're <laughs> fucking fired, basically. Like fucking 12,000 people, right? You're fired. Get out. And he and was, was just it. an actor, right? Yeah, but he was acting on behalf of some pretty fucking gnarly he, he, motherfuckers, he, man. He really came through for those guys. Oh, he fucking, yes. Yeah, Did you talk Christ, about man. team? He's team, like, he's squad. Yeah. Speaking of squads, they didn't step up. They didn't step up. Only they haven't Rashida, stepped up. Rashida Tlaib. Rashida Tlaib was the only one who said fucking no. Yeah. Uh, one of them, I think AOC changed her vote. Did she? she I'm not from just yes to surprise no. me. It, it just doesn't surprise me. It's like, 
you know, once you get in there, I'm not running her down. I, 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 I liked her. I was really happy with her. But like, once you get in there, you just become one of them. They, you don't change them. They change you. You know what I mean? You get into that blob and it's like the fucking Borg in Star Trek. It just fucking absorbs you, you know, until you're part of it. I, I was kind of like um, surprised that she didn't vote with them. That seemed to be, and, and quiet. It's very, very quiet. Yeah, yeah. She's been very quiet on all this fucking labor shit that's been going on. Like somebody fucking gave her a fucking big smackdown and told her to keep her fucking mouth shut. Well, I feel like she's going to step in line more because now that Nancy Pelosi's, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, pff, oh, God, I can't remember his name. The, um, the, the new, new guy. Obama. Yeah, the new Obama. Not to be an asshole. No, no, you're not being an asshole. I mean, it's better you said it than me. Yeah, it is. Way <laughs> Sorry, I let you take that. I let you take that hit. Yeah, for you, you take buddy. that hit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, uh, it, uh, what the fuck is his name? God, I can't remember his fucking name. Why don't we remember anybody's name? I don't know. Um, well, he's a new minority House Speaker, right? Yeah, he's going to be the, man, the minority speaker, the House Speaker, the, the leader of the Democratic Party. Um, and uh, yeah, so maybe she'll get a better. I mean, Nancy Pelosi, I think, just fucking smacked her down and told her to f just get in line, and that was Hakeem it. Jeffries. Hakeem Jeffries, correct. He's kind of hot. So um, people think he's hot. Uh, do they? Okay. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I mean, just in like an evil kind of way. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna get he's gonna get them in line, because he's not playing with that progressive shit. No, he's, he's not. not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, because yeah. I've seen I've seen interviews before. I mean, he kind of piped up a bit when Trump was there and he was doing speeches and the grandstanding and stuff. But in reality, he's a hardcore conservative Democrat. Uh, he's yeah, he's a corporate fucking he's a corporate Democrat. I mean, they wouldn't have he wouldn't get that position if he wasn't. You know, and they'll probably fucking primary, even though Ocasio-Cortez hasn't done shit, they'll probably fucking primary her and no. get her. And not, I wouldn't surprise me. I don't think so. I think that looks too bad on them. I think they'll keep her because if you can they, control they her, it's perfect. They don't seem to give a shit about the fucking politics anymore. They, like, they're just like, we're doing it. That's it. Fuck you. Shut up. Like, like with the union, you know what I mean? Like with the, but like, you know, here's your new contract. Shut up. No, you'll, you'll I think take that was a balancing like act. I think the union thing he couldn't have done. He couldn't have. He couldn't have backed off on that if he hadn't given off the student debt relief. With the student debt relief, he knows that the courts are going to take care of that for him, so he's not pushing back yeah, against true. that. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's that kind of game. Yeah, the politics are like just like what you can register in the I, moment. I hope they call this fucking bluff and they'll just walk off the fucking trains and just leave them parked in the middle of fucking Iowa. Sorry, uh, I shouldn't say Iowa, but Nebraska. <laughs> I don't know. It's somewhere out in the middle, one of those things you fly over. And now I have been to every fucking state in the fucking continent of the United States. So have I, you? Uh, no, you yeah, I, everyone except North Dakota and yes. Florida. How have you not been to fucking Florida? Never went to Florida, man. Never wanted to go. Never wanted to go. You're not an American. No, nope, never wanted to go. You're not an American. No, nope, no. Nope. I You're never had an any interest in going American. to Florida. Why? It's an amazing state. I don't know. I just never went. It wasn't it's like, you know. it's, it's kind of like, I mean, I, I've, weirdo I, I, Australia. I've driven across the States three times and like I went different ways. Did you avoid sure. Florida? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you when you're driving across Florida yeah, from you, New York, it's like you, you, you have you to don't. drive all the way down. I mean, I drove down like uh, the closest we got was we drove down to Georgia and then across the Southern States. Georgia's scary too. Yeah. 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 yeah it's pretty so. though. All right. So what else are we talking about today? Um, I don't know. What else? Did, oh yeah. The, um, oh yeah. Oh, Black Mirror coming to life. Oh, with the cop. Yeah. yeah. The fucking San Francisco police fucking robots. What is it? I don't know. They have fucking obsession with these fucking robots, man. It's these tech motherfuckers are like, they're, they're, they're like, it's like they didn't, it's like they, they grew up in the eighties, right? But they all managed to never watch fucking RoboCop. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like it's going to go bad. Like, what the fuck? Man? How, like, so they have the new robots in San Francisco that are approved for fucking use in hostage. Or but like, they're allowed to kill people. They're allowed to kill people, yeah. But the, the robot doesn't have a gun, but it's like, it's got explosives. I was like, oh, that's fucking so much better. You know what, what do I mean? you mean? Yeah, it's got like fucking some kind of explosive like C4. fucking C4 kind of fucking thing on it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, too many movies. you read the fucking article in, in, in the New York Times. I, I read the article in the New York Times. And, oh, and in the very end of the article, it says they don't have any of these robots yet, but they've approved them. So it's like kind of like a, you know, 
I don't know why they put those articles out there. It's to make everybody. I think it's to get you ready. To get you ready, I guess. Yeah. I think it's also to justify that that's going to be spent money on. There's going to be money spent on like that. I mean, that, what, yeah. what, you could totally siphon a Absolutely, couple billion yeah, yeah, out yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like you're, you're gonna, kids are going to go down to the street to the fucking, to the, like the kiddies park where they used to go. And it's like park closed due to funds needed it's literally for fucking a black police mirror episode. robots and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's literally a black fucking mirror episode. Yeah, it it's is. It's literally an episode. Yeah, it is. I yeah. feel like they're telling us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I just, we're so stupid. Advocates yeah. for them. It, this would be used in extreme situations. What's an extreme situation? I don't know, man. I'm going to put Ed 209 just up there. You're going to see Ed 209, <laughs> the fucking Robocop, the scene from Robocop when he fucking, just the Robocop oh, goes go. fucking mental. In, t- in 2016, police in Dallas, Texas used a robot arm to see for explosive. Somehow, <clears throat> some way, you will find out that this was somehow this dog or robot dog yeah. would be racist. You know and, it, right? Well, yeah. It's, uh, well, and it's, you know it, right? Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. And it's fantastic that they used it first in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And it, like the racist robot cop. Yeah. And, and here's a new thing to jump on if you are, you know, next fucking flag. It's Stop Killer Robots. There's a campaign group. Of course there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is not going And a doctor somehow who's totally well-versed in the subject. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do they do this? I don't know. They're, uh, you know, they're, it's just, this, this, this like the, 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 like the U.S. fucking pastime is just fucking complaining about shit and then shit getting worse and complaining about it again. And then shit getting worse and complaining about it again. Like nothing, nothing ever gets better. You know, li- life just keeps getting shittier. Yeah, it's the and fucking, shittier. It's like the best American meal, the home of the nothing burger. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You eat like, it, it tastes like shit and it yeah. sounds like shit and you talk shit. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. I mean, you live in a fucking virtual police state as well. And they, and you know, you, they talk about freedom all the time. And so they talk about is freedom and yet you're in essentially a fucking police state. Anyway, saw a great episode. I was going to say we should do a Law and Order, right? But there was no Law and Order on this Thanksgiving weekend. And yeah, there was no break. Law and Order on this weekend. Yeah. So, um, but I did happen to catch an episode of Blue Bloods. No. Yes. I and, hate that one more than ever. Yeah, that's the one of the family. Who that's, blue. Yeah, it's fucking Tom it's, Selleck and, yeah, and Donnie Wahlberg. It's fucking quality. It is the worst fucking television program I've ever watched in my life. And, <laughs> and I'm fucking addicted to it. Whoa, I'm going to tell you something. That is a lot. What yeah. did you say? I'm addicted to it. It's the worst television program I've ever watched in my life. And I'm addicted to it. It's so good. I don't know why. And I don't want to be mean to Queen the Latifah. Whole... I don't want to be mean to Queen Latifah. But I feel like the equalizer must be worse. It's just so much less, I don't know, plausible. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, no. But I really like Queen Latifah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the equalizer is a great show. Um, but then, no, the, but the, again, this this is what this is what the fucking this this is this is this week's episode, right? And this is again the fucking propaganda that we're fucking subjected to, like in in the U.S. particularly. So there's a girl who's come from I don't know somewhere outside of the city, and it's her, like she gets pushed in front of a car by oh, wow. random violent thugs. Youth, like black youth. This kid was white. No, they won't make him black on TV. Okay. Um, <laughs> so they may, uh, no, it's true. They, because they, corrected. D- d- no, no, they, because they, they like on the show that they, they'll, they'll do, they'll make sure that it's like, like it's, uh, they try and be like sort of racially, like, you know, like woke oh, on the okay, show. Okay. So they make the really scummy scumbag bad guys. They make them white just so that they can say like, we've done that. You know oh, okay. Like. Uh, so yeah, so this guy is like, it's a random guy and he, and he just pushed this girl in front of a fucking car and she had just gotten to New York. She's like, and the fucking, you want to hear the fucking dialogue? It's like, I'd never been to New York and I'd always wanted to come and now I never want to come back. And yeah, fucking, <laughs> one of the fucking officers is like, just like, I can't believe what they're doing to my city with random violence. And it's just this whole this fucking- This is what gets me. I love that. Whole, my city. This whole fucking thing of like, 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 like New York. The, the new ingenue comes the, on to the- yeah, gotcha. like New York is like worse than the 1980s, which is fucking ridiculous, man. The, the, the crime in the 1980s was fucking like a hundred times worse than it is now. But yet people think that it's as bad as it was in the 1980s. And I remember the 1980s because I fucking grew up in New York in the 1980s. Mm-hmm. I saw this interview with this woman was being interviewed in Oyster Bay, New York, which is in Long Island, right? Mm-hmm. And I can tell you right now, like Oyster Bay, Long Island is like possibly one of the safest communities in the fucking country. Still? Yeah. If you're like, this is for like a a middle-aged white woman. 
okay. being, being interviewed right after she comes out. She's like, I voted for fucking uh, Zelny or whatever the fuck his name was. <laughs> The, uh, Zeldin, I think his name is Zel- Lee, Zel- Lee Zeldin. Anyway, I voted for him because because he's going to stop crime. I wouldn't, you couldn't pay me to go into New York City. It's like, it's crazy there. It's like the 80s. It's like, it's like something out of a horror movie. And I'm like, But she's Whoa. listening to Sean Hannity. It, this is it. And he says the same thing. And he lives in Long Island. Uh, he lives, no, he lives in fucking Manhattan. He, does he lives not in Long li- Island. He's actually. from Long Island, but he's not living in Long Island. I think Island. he has a mansion in Long Island. Oh, yeah, his mansion's out there, but he lives in fucking Manhattan. Well, he says the city's disgusting and it's oh, rats my God. and Oh, He impressive. lives in fucking, Jesus Christ, they all live in, this is the thing, they all live in Manhattan. Manhattan. Like uh, and and well, he but has they, to, he has to tell the truth. Yeah, he has they to go create this fucking thing that New York is like. Th- it's like this fucking simmering fucking maelstrom of hell, right? And it's just not, man. And, and and like all the TV shows do it, and all the you know. So yeah, and it's it's just fucking ridiculous, man. But I still love the show. I still tune in every week. You know what I mean? And you know, Tom Selleck, his fucking acting career has reached a fucking absolute pinnacle with this thing. Right, he is like the most wooden, robotic, terrible fucking acting job I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. 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 I mean. I mean, as opposed to what? Like, I mean, I watch Magnum? like, I like, I mean, okay. Yeah. I Elliot Stabler on fucking Law and Order. I see him, and it's like he just casually goes up to a mega fucking crime boss and has a coffee with him. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, it's great, know, man. You know, my mother, da 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 da, lived on this street, and da 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 da. Yeah. You can see that. So, Anyways. anyway, I think that was, that's pretty much wrapped up. I um, think so. Yeah, we've Will done. you have anything good to say? No, nah, I don't know if I have anything good to say this week. Oh, my God. I mean, well, maybe the fucking, maybe those train workers will go on strike and fucking change the fucking world. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. You know? I just had one good thing you could think of. Um, I don't know. <laughs> this is a new episode of The Equalizer on tonight for me to watch. The Queen of Tifa. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a beer. I haven't had a beer in two days, so like I'm oh. clean and sober. That's you know that'll probably that'll probably you. that'll probably be the end in an hour. But <laughs> yeah, 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 after this. Um, okay, well, fair yeah. enough. Then I guess that that's yeah. that. Then so yeah. the world looks great. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty cheery. Like I'm all smiling and shit. You know what I mean? So like you know, I'm, I'm like it actually makes me. It, I, I feel the catharsis of like talking about the shit makes me feel better. This is. I, I realize that this maybe this show is maybe for us to feel better and doesn't make anybody else feel that good. Okay, we'll have to work on that. Part. <laughs> yeah, I think so. We'll have to work on that. Part. Bye. Bye. <laughs>